Yo, what's good? It's CJ. We're back at it again today. In today's video, we're going to make an epic drill beat. Luke from Wave Grind hit me up. He said, yo, CJ, I got this crazy big pack called the Producers Growth Kit that I'm going to shoot over to you. Yo, when I downloaded this thing, it was almost 13 gigs. The best thing about it, it's 100% royalty free and the pack contains over 3,000 melody, drum loops, sample loops, MIDI, live guitar samples, whatever you need to make a beat with, this kit definitely has. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to open up Logic and we'll make this beat. All right, I just opened up my DAW. It's time to make this beat. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys what the producer growth kit comes with a deluxe one shot library including bells, flutes, guitars, pads, chords, piano, voices. You got a drum library, 808s, claps, crashes, so all your basses are covered for your drums. Live guitar library, super fire. They got a melody library, they got melody masters, they got melody MIDI, R&B sample library, and some extra loops. You can see for yourself, this thing has a massive amount of sounds in it. This pack's definitely designed to like, you know, destroy beat blocks, so definitely get yourself a copy of this. So I'm gonna try and find a loop first to, you know, get my inspiration uh, started. And uh, they got this melody library here. So each one of these uh, folders comes with a master file, which is basically all the stems combined, but you could also get the stems, individual stems, which is kind of dope, including the MIDI. Pop in the MIDI, just drag and drop it over, you know, change the, uh, the virtual instrument or whatever. I haven't even browsed like four or five of them and I already found stuff that I want to work with. It's up to these three right now and I think I already made my decision. I think I'm going to rock with this one here. I like having the stems of loop so I could really, you know, mix it properly the way I want it to sound. And then it also has um, a MIDI file. So I'm going to drag and drop that in. Having the MIDI is great because I can actually go in there, make my changes, and also have variations for the verses and for the hooks. So I'm going to start off with uh, with this loop right here. I'm going to copy it over so that I can make a section that has uh, a higher pitch. So the way I do that in Logic is I turn on my flex pitch, and then I'm going to go over to the polyphonic section right here. I'm going to make sure that this um, particular loop is highlighted, and now I can transpose it by 12 semitones. Now that I've applied those changes, what I'm going to do is chop this uh, sample up. I'm going to take all those chops and let's uh, reverse them individually. So I'm going to go to more and just hit reverse. Let's do a little fade in, fade out. The next thing I want to do is add some drums. So let me go ahead and add a drum machine designer to this. I found the hi-hat that I want to roll with, so I'm going to go ahead and import that. Let me fade it out just a bit so it sounds a little bit shorter. Once I have like my standard drill hi-hat going, I'm going to go ahead and copy this over. You know, if I hear something in my head, I always like try to place it right away. I'm going to EQ that a little bit. Now let's go ahead and find a snare that would match this. I need some really hard hitting kicks at this point. So I'm going to try and find some in that pack. Ooh, heat. Ooh, fire. 
let's see what we can do with this here. That's crazy. Now let's go ahead and add those drums in there and see what that sounds like. Once you have all your elements, it's important to uh, start arranging this. So I definitely want to start with that. And this can come back. That's the hook. So when the second hook comes in, I'm going to remove the hi-hats. I also like introducing some pauses, so I'm gonna go ahead and just chop those like that. Now I like keeping my uh, beats nice and simple, but I definitely wanna add some sort of an effect, uh, you know, for the transitions. Let's see what kind of effects they got to offer. I appreciate the time you took today to watch this video. Most importantly, I hope you learned something. Make sure to check the link in the description so you can download your copy of the Producer Growth Kit. Lastly, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified anytime I drop some new content. My name is CJ. I'm out for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.